Thanks for joining me on this Memorial Day weekend. Um, tomorrow is Memorial Day. And I thought this would be a fitting time to make my announcement video um, of an event that I'm really excited to announce. And I'm, I'm so happy that my friend Bill Rutenberg is also joining me on this, uh, this quest for June. But in June, we are celebrating and honoring and remembering D-Day because it is the 80th anniversary of D-Day on June 6th. And uh, as you can see, I am sporting uh, my D-Day 80 uh, shirt. Compliments of uh, the hit the history list, which I have worn their their history shirts before. But check this out. Whoa, huh? Pretty cool. So, uh, I'm very excited to not only just represent uh, D Day and uh, you know honoring the 80th anniversary, but to bring to you a month long. Um, cornucopia of uh, videos which will focus in different ways on D-Day, uh, books, movies, I've got author interview, uh, we're going to have a book chat at the end of the month, uh, myself and Bill Rutenberg. Um, so what is this going to look like? How can you guys get involved? Well, that's a great question and we're going to answer it. <laughs> so, um, in fact, I have my trusty list of uh, things I want to do for this month, uh, for in June. Uh, I want you to stay tuned for the first week of June to my channel, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. I will be posting over an hour long interview with uh, Colonel Keith Nightingale, retired, um, who is actively involved every year uh, with the D-Day Normandy invasion um, memorizations that go on over in France. Uh, he's been actively involved with that for years, years and years. And uh, we had a wonderful interview over his recent book, The Human Face of D-Day, uh, Walking the Battlefields of Normandy, Essays, Reflections, and Conversations with Veterans of the Longest Day. And I consider Colonel Nightingale a good friend of mine. We, we made connections years ago uh, over his memoir, Just Another Day in Vietnam. And um, I had read several of his books this is another winner, and I really am going to urge everyone to check this one out. Um, this is a Casemate publication, um, and it's fantastic. But please do watch out for that interview, which I'll be posting the first week of June. Again, D-Day was on June 6th. Um, I also wanted to remind folks, too, they're going to be having a lot. It's a, it's a big anniversary, right? 80 anniversary, 80th anniversary. So they're, they're going to be, um, I'm hoping maybe C-SPAN or maybe even on a more general channel, we'll get to see some of the, the footage of, uh, they're going to have a lot of big wigs over there um, this year, commemorating the 80th anniversary, 1944 to 2024, uh, as we get closer and closer to 100. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe that we're actually closing in on 100 years since World War II and D-Day. But we're still 20 years away from that. So jumping the gun. Um, but the first week, I'll have an interview with uh, Colonel Nightingale. Um, I'll be also be making videos, uh, reading suggestions. My goal is to also uh, kind of check back in regularly throughout the month. Uh, I'm going to be dipping into a lot of different books on D-Day. Obviously, you know, it's just a month long thing, but of course, I, you can read past June and I really encourage everyone to do that. But um, I'm kind of, I picked up a couple of books that I want to include in my uh, suggestion video, which will be coming uh, probably also this, the first week of June. Um, and also encourage you to join me and Bill as we buddy read, this is going to be our joint read for the month. So this is the one we are going to work through and then do a book chat uh, about at the end of the month. And that is D-Day, June 6th, 1944, The Climactic Battle of World War II by Stephen E. Ambrose. Now, my book cover, I bought this. Uh, this is a fairly new edition. I just bought this over Amazon. I have not read this one, if you can believe that. I, I've read Ambr some of Ambrose's other works. I think I've read Pegasus Bridge, but I have not read this big one here. And what I find funny is that this, this version, which is a uh, Simon & Schuster trade paperback, 
is way different than the cover of the book that Bill just showed in his announcement video earlier today. Um, and this, this is not what D-Day looked like, let me just say. <laughs> they were not walking up the beach. <laughs> that is not true. Um, and in fact, you'll if you watch that interview that I post with Colonel Nightingale, he's, he speaks directly to that where, because he's talked to many of the veterans of that day and uh, who, who said that, no, we, we hugged the sand and we crawled on our stomachs to get every inch. So this was definitely not, people were not walking on the beach. So that's kind of a misleading cover, but otherwise it's, uh, it's a very serviceable reading copy, which looks really good. So we're gonna start reading that in June. So would you like to join us? Check it out at your library, pick up D-Day. The whole point is to, to think about what happened that day, what these men went through, um, what they fought for, what they sacrificed for, and to remember and honor them just by reading about them and thinking about them. That's that's the least we can do. Um, as Colonel Langell put it so eloquently in our interview, you know, this was a civilization, it was a battle of civilization, um, and we had to win, and we did. So let's honor, let's honor the memory of those who, 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 who fell, those who survived and still kind of lived all their lives with these wounds, uh, mental, you know, just psychological, seeing friends die. And let's just honor them by studying the event, reading about it, considering what they went through. Um, and I hope you'll join us. So I haven't decided whether we're going to do like a stream yard, maybe do a live stream yard. And um, in fact, why don't you tell us below in the, in the comments how you would like the book chat to be? Would you like to be involved in our wrap up? book chat about the day are there enough of you who want to do this that we could do a live you know like a stream yard and you could i can monitor questions and just engage with all of you out there because the whole point is i want june to be i've never really put on a booktube event before so it's going to be low scale just me and bill um you know doing our thing uh reading and putting up our own videos and then coming together again at the end of the month but we really want you to be engaged so if this is something you would like to do, let us know and I can, I can do a, a stream yard at the end of the month and we'll do a live book chat and you guys can engage. That'll be fun. So starting this real soon next week. Next week. Um, but yeah, I've got a growing stack of books that I can't wait to, um, to share with you. I'm, I'm, I'm compiling them as I go along. It's going to be D-Day all day, every day in June at this channel, along with other things. Obviously, I still got a lot of other things going on, but um, my focus is just to bring you a month-long event. So other things that I'd like to do for this month. Um, I'd like to put together a list for you guys of the documentaries and movies that we recommend. I would like to do a uh, uh, do a video or a film uh -huh. It's not going to be a watching a film reaction live on here, but what we'll do is I'm trying to talk Martina into joining me. I don't know if she will or not, but uh, I'd like to watch a few of these um, movies, some of the classics, some of the newer ones. Of course, we've, we've all seen Saving Private Ryan, but I think, excuse me, I'm going to rewatch that. And um, and then we can uh, maybe come on the 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 channel here and just talk about our reactions, some of our thoughts about the movies, the documentaries, um, and that kind of stuff. Just give you uh, just some user feedback, um, having watched them, kind of like what we did with uh, Miss Marple and, wa and watching the uh, the BBC or PBS, uh, you know, adaptations. We would kind of come on and give our review of those as well. So that's on my, my, uh, my radar of things to do for the rest of the month of June. Um, and then, yes, because I have a lot of books about D-Day, different angles, you know, different authors, different um, scope, uh, things that jump out at me, I'm going to be flagging and tagging them. So I'll probably come on and, and make several videos over the month where I, I'm going to read from some of the books, some of the chapters, uh, things that stand out to me or that I think are particularly significant. Um, or just worthy of noting and, and remembering. So 
I have ideas and I plan on uh, following up on them. Um, but what you can do is join us along, join us along, join along with us <laughs> for D-Day, uh, Stephen E. Ambrose's book. Uh, maybe some of you already have it on your shelves and you've just never taken it down. It has, they have a lot of different covers. This is just the most recent one I found on Amazon. Um, this edition actually is just from 19, uh, 1994. And oh, I should tell you, for anyone who wants to get a cheap version, I, I found the version that Bill has, which if I had known it was on Hamilton Book, I would have ordered it from there. But, um, but uh, yes, it's on Hamilton Book for like $7. So if you want to check out Stephen, Stephen Ambrose's D-Day from Hamilton Book for less than $10, $10 for sure, you could do that. Let us know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll let Bill know, uh, you know, the interest that we're seeing. Um, let us know if you want to join us. I hope you do. I hope you will. Um, and I might, I might even consider doing a giveaway. I might even consider doing a giveaway. I got to figure out how that would work. Uh, it would be, um, I have an extra copy of something. Not going to say what yet. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So that is my announcement video um, for Remembering D-Day, um, 80th anniversary. And uh, please join us. Please please tell me what you think you might end up doing for the month to, to honor and to, to remember. It's a, it's a big anniversary. So... Yeah, I'll be checking in. We'll be doing lots of different things over the month. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. Again, be sure to hit that notification button because I have a big interview coming next week. I really would like for you to watch it. So um, with that, I will close. I hope you have a, a gloriously just beautiful, safe, um, you know, fun and uh, relaxing Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to join me here at the History Shelf, and uh, we'll be talking soon. Take care. Bye-bye.